MMM or masticatory muscle myositis is a really interesting condition. Um, it's actually an autoimmune condition, which is becoming more and more obvious in the canine population. What it does, it affects how uh, the the dogs first first of all the, how the nerves are functioning and how the muscles so it's affecting the way the muscles are actually working and the first sign of it is inability to chew uh, and of course atrophy over the the whole skull so you'll see that the muscles that are over the skull and, and part of the that whole masticatory uh, or the chewing system of the of the animal's head starts to atrophy and it is it is a diagnosis which is yeah, becoming something like which we treat, we would treat probably five of these a week um, globally because I, I don't know why there is there doesn't seem to be many people um, who understand how it works. But we, I do, I worked out a, a treatment program for this a, around about um, eight years ago, and we've had so much success with this program. It's amazing. One of the things that we use is licorice. So I use a combination of licorice and elecampane or licorice and comfrey um, as it used to be. But ele but what we want is the al allantoin and the licorice together. So they work as a, as a cortisone, a natural cortisone. And because the treatment for this medically is to use cortisone. That's how they treat it. And it's a very hit and miss kind of treatment because – pretty well much the vets will say well there's nothing we can do just treat it with cortisone with the hope that the body corrects itself now the success rate of that's pretty low um, but we do we have found that with the herb, herbs in support we're getting them off the cortisone and actually getting 100 percent recovery in fact we've got quite a few testimonials on, on the website now about having done that so our treatment is of course this natural cortisone that that we like to put together which has got licorice in there and elecampane or comfrey uh, we use a blood detoxifier and a toner so we tone up the whole organ function, so the liver, the kidneys, we use a detoxifying mix and we support the thyroid function. And that's because, again, when you're thinking about how the immune system is working or not working or it's over-responding, uh, in the case of autoimmunity, it's the immune system is attacking itself or attacking its own cells because it sees the body as, as a foreign invader, which is clearly... Um, a back to front way of thinking if you're, the, if you're the immune system what we need to do is inform the immune system and help the body to inform the immune system on what to do and clearly there is a miscommunication happening between the cells now the, uh, the chem there are chemicals that are involved in that communication there's nervous system chemicals there's just normal there's just chemicals happening throughout the body that the body's creating all the time to inform this process to take place if those chemicals are wrong we want them we want them to go we want them to be out of the body and eliminated so partly we're doing that with the conditioning formula by toning up all the organs and helping the body to eliminate better and to normalize so we want the body's information channels we want the lymphatic system the blood everything to start to become a lot more normal than what it was so we use the conditioning mix for that. And then we have a very specific mix, um, uh, which we're well, actually not a mix, it's actually the maritime pine bark that we use uh, to really focus on the immune system with high, high antioxidants and bioflavonoids. And that treatment program seems to work really well. We also, of course, want to use natural a natural diet as part of that. And usually within six to eight weeks you'll have them off the cortisone and they'll start and we'll see them start repairing and building back up the muscle and able to open their jaw properly and eat it is a very debilitating disease if you can't get the animal to eat again because it's almost like locked jaw they can't open their jaw properly so it is it isn't a great uh, diagnosis if you've had it but uh, if you've had that diagnosis but there is a lot that we can do and we've certainly had some great results with that treatment protocol thank you <music>